Assalamu alaikum. After discussing the Bose Einstein statistic and Fermi Dirac statistic, today we are going to discuss the Maxwell Boltzmann statistic. The Maxwell Boltzmann statistic is applicable to system of distinguishable particle. If you remember, in Bose Einstein statistic and Fermi Dirac statistic, the particles were indistinguishable. And here, uh, we are using the system of distinguishable particle. This statistic is also known as the classical statistic because this statistic does not follow the quantum condition of distinguishability. Actually, this statistic is a limiting case of the um, Fermi Dirac statistic and Bose Einstein statistic because when we apply the both Einstein statistic or Fermi Dirac statistic at high temperature or low density of particle, so the result reduces to the Max Boltzmann statistic. The like the Bose Einstein statistic, here in um, Max Boltzmann statistic, there is no restriction on the number of particle occupying an energy state. For example, uh, if we have to arrange nj particle and gj energy state, so there would be gj possible location for the first particle. For example, we have three particles and we have to arrange in five energy states. So, for the first particle, there are five possible locations. For example, I put the first particle over here. Now, for the second particle, again, I have the gj possible location because there is no restriction on the number of particles to occupy an energy state. So I can put the second particle here, here, or anywhere in these five energy states. For example, I put the second particle over here. So this is allowed by the Max Boltzmann statistic because there is no restriction on the number of particles occupying an energy state. Similarly, for the third particle, again, I have the gj possible location. So I can put the third particle here or anywhere among the five energy state. Let I put it there. So if I go on, so there will be gj possible location for the last particle. So the total possible sequences in which nj particle could be distributed in the gj energy state would be the product of these all uh, energy state or I can write this like this. So if I take an example where I have two particles and I have to, to distribute in the three energy state. So I will have according to the formula of the Max Boltzmann statistic nine possible distribution and all those nine possible distribution are here. So I can put A here, B here, and then B here, A here, and so on for the rest. Similarly, I can put both the particle in any of the energy state. Now, if I take uh, another example where I have two energy level, such that the first energy level consists of one particle and two energy state, and the second energy level consists of two particle and three energy state. So, as per our previous uh, calculation or experiment, uh, we would have 18 possible uh, microstates. However, the actual number of microstates is 54. Because what I can do, I can interchange A and B. So, I will have this uh, uh, distribution. I can also interchange B and C, so I will have this distribution. Now, I will have 18 possible distribution for this one, 18 possible distribution for this one, and 18 possible distribution for this one, so the total is 54. However, the formula is giving me 18. So, I have to adjust the this formula according to the situation. So, Interchange of particles between the two different energy states of the same level or 
between the energy state of the different energy level create new microstate. So you see here, if I interchange these two, or I interchange these two, so that create new energy state. However, interchange of particle in the same energy state of the same level do not create new microstate. So, if we have a total number of n particle such that n1 particles are distributed in g1 energy state and 2 in the g2 energy state and so on, then there would be n pictorial possible arrangement. However, out of these n possible arrangement, n1 arrangement in g1 energy state would represent the same microstate. Similarly, n2 pictorial in g2 would, would represent the same microstate and so on. For example, you see here, if I interchange A and B, so AB or BA, which represent exactly the same situation, if, as long as they are in the same energy state. Similarly, if I interchange A and B, so AB or BA would be exactly the same microstate. So what we need to do, there would be a repetition of um, the sequences if I enter, uh, interchange two particles in the same energy state. So I have to avoid this repetition. So to avoid this repetition due to the interchange of particle in the same energy state of the same level, we need to divide n pictorial by n1 pictorial and 2 pictorial up to nj pictorial. That is this one. So now the correct formula uh, for the Max Bormann statistic would be this one. So this factor has been uh, introduced in order to avoid the uh, repetition of the uh, uh, microstate uh, with the uh, interchange of particle within the same energy state. So I can uh, just uh, simplify this uh, formula over here. So now it is this one. Now if I apply this formula and the same old example. So here the total number of particle would be 3 and 1 plus and 2. So this formula is giving me 54. So you see here we have for this distribution, we have 18. For this distribution, we have 18. And for this distribution, we have 18. So the total are 54. And now this formula is also giving me 54. So now I am going to apply this for another general example, which we have done in the previous two cases as well. That is this one. So what I can do that uh, for six unit energy, I can put one particle over the, this level and rest of the five particle here because there is no restriction on the number of particle occupying a particular energy state. And so I can go on where, for example, this one and this one six energy, rest of the four here and so on. And here is the uh, thermodynamic probability calculated. Uh, on the basis of uh, uh, Max Boltzmann statistics, for example, omega 1 is calculated like this one. So for omega 1, the total particle is 6, 6 pictorial. And then for the first energy level, you have uh, uh, yes, g to the power n, one particle, and divided by 1 pictorial. These are empty, so you directly come here. So you have 3 to the power 5 because you have 5 particles divided by 5 factorial, and then you have this one. So all these are this state are uh, divided by 3 to the power 5. So you have actually 18 and to 3 to the power 5, 9 to the power 5. And you see here some of the um, macro state are more probable and some of the less probable. For example, this one is the um, uh, more probable or highest probable and this one is the least probable. So the average properties of the system will be displayed by this microstate. For example, if I calculate the average occupation number of the level N2, so this is 0 0.91, which is quite close to 1. And here, the occupation 
um, a number of the level two is one. So it means that this state is representing the equilibrium or average property of the system. So uh, this was all about the um, statistic and the next lecture will be about the uh, boson standard distribution, uh, formatted R distribution and Max Boltzmann distribution using the technique of Lagrange undetermined multiplier. Thank you so much.